the preview new segment of Showmax, the the end of the program from 24 Hour Channel. Thank you and all of you for paying attention. Please leave your comment and feedback in the comment section of this video so that we can respond promptly. Rating to our viewers is an honor for me. Phương Thảo to always accompany you and bring the, you the news bulletin on 24 Hour Channel. The news provides updates on the hostess and most accurate information about the security order and social situation that has occurred during the day. The following will be the main news. 1. Ladies and gentlemen, today Mr. Xi Jinping himself had to admit the floods in China were rampant. After silence for more than a month, Chinese President Xi Jinping has finally spoken out about the flooding raging across central and southern China and described it as grim. China Daily, the mouthpiece of the Chinese government, quoted Xi as saying that the current flood prevention situation is grim. He then called for serious efforts to assist the Po affected by the floods so that they do not fall into poverty because of disasters. According to CCTV News, Xi said the water levels of the Yangtze River, Huai River, Dining Lake, Pei Lake and Taihu Lake had recently exceeded warning levels. She also acknowledged that the flood situation in Chongqing, Jiangxi, Anhui, Hubei, Hunan, Jiangsu and Zhejiang is very serious. She warned the country was entering a critical phase in flood control and said governments at all levels must take responsibility for this. He said that the Ministry of Defense, the Ministry of Water Resources, the Ministry of Emergency Management and others should strengthen coordination and deploy rescue forces and relief materials in a more scientific way. She also called on the People's Liberation Army plot and armed police forces to participate in rescue and relief work in flooded areas. Currently, the Chinese government's flood control office has raised the national emergency response level from level 3 to level 2 in a four-level warning system. Leaders at the ministerial level have led teams to Jiangxi and elsewhere to guide disaster relief. According to China's Ministry of Water Resources, since the beginning of March, floods suddenly broke out across 27 provinces, killing 141 people and affecting 37.89 million people, 433 rivers whose water levels have exceeded dangerous levels. Dangerous. China's CGDN television network, a government mouthpiece, reported that floods in the country had collapsed 22,000 houses, displaced 1.721 million people, and cost damage amounting to 61.79 billion people. Currency 8.82 billion dollars. 2. Severe floods in southern China killed 108 people in the first six months of the year according to Economic Information Daily, from the beginning of the year until now. Continuous floods in 22 provinces and cities in China have cost at least 108 deaths and total economic losses of up to 5.6 billion US dollars. A total of 20.79 million people in 22 provinces in China suffered damage from floods this year. More than 1 million people were forced to evacuate, at least 108 people died and 21 were missing. Floodwaters also damaged 1.7 million hectares of crops and 44,000 homes. The hardest hit areas are the southern Chinese provinces of Hunan, Sichuan and Fujian. Last Friday, a very strong rain began to sweep across the Changjiang, Huaihe and Taihu rivers over a total area of about 210,000 square kilometers. Earlier, torrential rains and floods hit the northern districts of Shanghai, paralyzing the transportation system and disabling people's vehicles. Lang Line, a meteorologist at the Fujian Meteorological Bureau, said the El Nino phenomenon is known to be the cause of the extreme weather conditions, with drought lasting all spring and heavy rains since March this year. It is expected that drought will return after this year's flood season ends. Every year, more than 100 cities across China are inundated with flood water. According to statistics from China's Flood Control and Drought Relief Bureau, 184 cities in the country were affected by floods in 2012, 234 cities in 2013 and 125 cities last year. One of the main reasons is that local authorities do not pay attention to the drainage system, leading to frequent floods in many cities. More than 300 cities in China do not meet the national standard for flood prevention for urban areas. Even more than 90% of the old urban areas do not meet the lowest criteria for flood prevention. 3. Three Gorges Dam failed in flood control. The ancient capital was flooded with water. Floods affected more than 54 million people, leaving 3.7 million people homeless and 158 dead or missing. 
Rising water has destroyed 41,000 houses and damaged an additional 368,000, according to the Ministry of Emergency Management. The ancient city of Xi'an in Shaanxi province recently fell victim to the rainy season that has plagued many regions. In China over the past two months, in just one day, the Xi'an Meteorological Agency had to issue an orange warning of up to 50 mm of rain within three hours. Heavy rains poured water into the ancient city and the terrible consequences it caused to the west, and was posted on social media by many locals. Some shared images show roads turning into rivers with waist-high water, some even kayaking around the city. The China National Meteorological Center predicts flooding in the provinces. The south is coming to an end. The worst of the rainy season since June which flooded many areas, including the Yangtze River Basin, may soon end, said senior meteorologist Jing Wan. Even so, there is growing concern about the massive Three Gorges Dam, where the reservoir's water level has risen 15 meters above the warning level the highest level since the Three Gorges Dam was completed in 2006. Some experts express skepticism about the role of the Three Gorges Dam in flood prevention and mitigation. A summer floods have spread in downstream provinces, including Hunan, Anhui, and Zhang, West and Jiangsu. They said that although this year's flooding on the Yangtze River was very severe, it was still nothing compared to the worst scenario that had been envisaged during the design of the dam. Chief Engineer of the Geological Resources Department and Minerals of Sichuan Province, who also wrote a column in the journal China National Geographic, said Fan Xiao. The Three Gorges Dam was designed to endure a turbo flood on the scale of a new century, one to two times, but it has now failed to fulfill its role as a giant flood regulator, although this year's floods are less severe than the worst-case scenario in the design specification. When built, the Three Gorges Dam was designed to control flooding and protect urban centers such as Wuhan and Chongqing. However, both cities were partially submerged in this flood, although the operator of the Three Gorges Dam has said the situation could have been much more dire without the dam. The country is the worst in decades. Water in 433 rivers has risen above flood control levels since March, of which 33 have set a record. The floods have affected more than 54 million people, leaving 3.7 million people homeless and 158 dead or missing. Rising water destroyed 41,000 homes, damaging an additional 368,000, According to the Department of Emergency Management, the number of deaths and damage to homes is less than in previous years, but the number of people losing their homes and the economic damage is much higher, according to the Los Angeles Times. 4. Sichuan appeared a historic flood that only happened once in a hundred years. Schner reported that in the past few days, Sichuan has had continuous heavy rains for a long time. NHA and City, the section of the Qingyu River has seen a big flood that only happens once in a hundred years. At 5 a.m. yesterday, the local government issued a first-class flood prevention emergency response order for the first time in history. The local government also requires that the flood control situation be implemented extremely strictly. According to the Sichuan announcement WeChat account of the Sichuan Provincial Government Information Office, the Sichuan Flood Control and Drought Relief Headquarters, there has been a flood that has only occurred once in a hundred years. In NHA and City, the Thanwai River section, it is forecast that the entire Thanwai River Basin will completely exceed the safe water level. The downstream areas of Daidu River and Lower Minjung River will also experience large floods exceeding the alarming and safe thresholds. The flood control situation is extremely strict. The Sichuan Provincial Flood and Drought Prevention Command decided to start deploying the emergency response to control the level 1 flood at 5 am today. Yesterday, according to CCTV and Lumedia, this is also the first level I flood control emergency response order in Sichuan's history. Based on current rainfall trends, it is expected that the Tamhong Mu station of the Dajong River will experience floods exceeding the historical record, and the middle and lower Boijong River will continue to experience floods exceeding the historical record. Over safe water level, the account Sichuan notice also pointed out that the heavy rain the night before had caused the water level of the Qingyu River to rise. In Yan City, Major bridges such as Ziminqiao, Lankiao, Dahongqiao, Daxing Cross and the large bridge over the Qingyu River are temporarily not allowed to operate. The day before yesterday, due to continuous heavy rainfall, rock and soil collapsed into Tugu on Duan Expressway, Sichuan Province, disrupting traffic in both directions. The Sichuan Provincial Flood and Drought Prevention Headquarters issued a blue warning a sudden flood disaster warning level. Accordingly, from 8 p.m. yesterday to 8 p.m. yesterday, 
Flooding may occur in Thanden, Enhando, Vin, and other districts. Due to continuous heavy rain in Sichuan, before the situation is under control. As floods were implemented more and more strictly, the Sichuan Provincial Flood and Drought Prevention Command launched a Level 2 Flood Prevention Emergency Response at 12 noon the day before yesterday. Infrastructures in Chengdu, Diyong, Mianyang, Kuangnuyen, and Aiba have been damaged to varying degrees and flooding has occurred in some places. Mianyang, Chengdu, Guangyuan, Diyong urgently relocated more than 60,000 people. As of noon yesterday, 32 rivers, including Dajiang, Boijiang, Danwai, Minjiang, Daidu, Jilang, and tributaries of the Yellow River, had water levels exceeding the safe and alarming levels, in which the mainstream of Dajiang River and some stations on tributaries of Dajiang, Manjiang, Boijiang, and Daidu rivers have water levels exceeding the safe water level. The Hydrology Department of the Yangtze River Commission of the Ministry of Water Resources announced that the No. 5 flood on the Yangtze River this year has formed upstream. It will pass through the Three Gorges Dam with a flow rate of 70,000 cubic meters slash s, setting the record for the largest flow this year. Yes, today's newsletter comes to an end. Thank you and everyone. You have followed our newsletter. Wish you and your family always healthy and happy. If you find it interesting, Please subscribe to the channel then press the bell icon in the right corner of the screen to not miss the latest news that we will update. But for now, bye and see you again. Thank you and all of you for paying attention. Please like, subscribe to the channel and turn on notification to receive the fastest and most accurate update from the channel. Thank you and goodbye. See you in the upcoming videos.